Hello everyone, it's just another day in the studio of Discover UMES and today my name is Amber Green and I have the pleasure of speaking with an entrepreneur, a motivator, and my personal friend, Michael Proctor. Hi Michael. Hello, what's up Amber? How are you today? I'm actually great today, how are you? I'm good. Um, you're actually known, very well known on our campus, but as a different name. What's yes. that nickname? Um, Fats. It's just a nickname from when I was young. I was real chubby. I lost a lot of weight, though. It's cool. You look very nice now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what are some accomplishments, accomplishments that you feel like you've achieved, whether on campus or off? Um, actually starting my organization on campus, Corporate Man Inc., and just being uh, involved on campus, period just getting involved with that because I never was that type of person. True. Um, how do you keep yourself motivated? You said to get yourself involved on campus. How do you keep yourself motivated and focused? Um, just to, I like helping people and that's my motivation. I like seeing others succeed and, and that, that's just enough joy for me. All right. You're graduating this May. Yes. Woo -woo. 2013. Yay. <laughs> yeah. um, what are your goals after graduating? I'm actually going into the Navy 2014 but I have an internship with the Washington Center. It's a government agency in Washington, D.C. Congratulations on Thank your internship. You. Um, are there any figures on campus or off that has influenced you greatly? Um, yes, the director and assistant director of the Office of Career Services, Ms. Dr. Queen and, and Mrs. Knox, they actually helped me a lot. And a student, a personal friend of mine, my best friend out here, Wesley Garrett, he's always been that motivational push that I always needed, so yeah. yeah. Um, you said you are an um, active member of Corporate Man, Inc. Yes. Um, with my understanding, it's an organization bu built on the progression of the professional manner and, you know, the outlook of young black men on campus. Yes. In your personal opinion, how do you feel young men on this campus is perceived as? Like, is there a change that's needed? Uh, yes, there's a change that's very well needed. Um, a lot of us are... Just coming from an African-American community, we're perceived as being hoods or thugs and stuff like that because we like to wear sneakers and fitted caps and stuff like that. But a lot of us, we know how to turn our professional swag on and put on a suit and a tie and some, and some nice shoes. Some of us who don't, that's why we started at CMI, so we can help them gain those attributes. Mm -hmm. And this was started with career services, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, what has been your biggest challenge and what has helped you overcome it? Organizing, organizing an organization is so difficult. But um, as you as you progress and the members in, in the organization, they, they help you and everybody play their part, it, it actually becomes that much easier. Yeah. Definitely, organizing is a big thing. Yes. Um, actually, we have a lot of uh, new freshmen or prospective students actually watching this show. Uh -huh. So what advice do you have for them? I would just say stay the, stay the course and just, just slow it down. You don't have to grow up too fast. Exactly. Um, how excited are you about graduating, man? I am ready to run across the stage. <laughs> I cannot wait to get out of here, but I love you on me. I'm always love. I'm going to give back. Hopefully, I become wealthy enough to donate some money to the school, to Definitely the business department. Back. You yes. do a little dance on stage? Um, no, I'm not going to do that. They probably put me out. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you? A 15 and a half for real. I, I can't wait to get my diploma. I've been here four years. I served my time. I love you, yes, but May 17th, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know if you're familiar, but a while back, the seniors of Class 2011 had a hashtag called UMES Bucket List. Okay. If you had to have your UMES Bucket List, what would be one thing on there? I would say I want to throw like a, a beach party, like at, um, at Dale Island, I would just want to do a big beach party, like mm -hmm. a bonfire. Just invite everybody out, have a good time, something like that. Not too classic. much. Yeah, I'm, I'm chill though. You That's know, very so. classic. All right, real quick, give me one word that would describe your experience at UMES. <sighs> memorable, very memorable. I have a lot of good times, a lot of bad times, a lot of experiences, period. And it helped me grow as a person, so that's memorable. Yeah, memorable. Definitely. Thank you, Mikey, for joining us today. We definitely enjoyed having you here. Thank you. Um, and if you want to see this video and many more like it, definitely go to www.youtube.com backslash discoveryumes. And my name is Amber Green, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you.